Welcome back to the channel Red Dirt Designs. On today's episode, we're going to do some glass etching on an antique door. You can also use the same glass etching technique to do glass cups, mirrors, blocks, anything glass. I start off by measuring the size of my window. I want to make sure my logo fits the window correctly. I design the logo real quick in Photoshop and I save it as a PNG file in my computer. By saving it as a PNG file, when you open it up in Cricut Design Space, you don't have to use the background removal tool. And if you don't have a vinyl cutter, then you can still do this project by just drawing the image directly on to the vinyl and then cutting it out with an X-Acto knife. Now I'm in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to click on Upload Image. I'm going to upload the image. you got to click Browse to find the image. In the browse, I'm going to go to where I saved the file. It's a PNG file, so I'll make sure I open the right one, PNG. If you look, the background's already removed. We're going to click Simple, Continue. Now I'll click Apply and Continue. Hit Cut Image, Upload. We'll click the image. Once it's selected, we'll go to Add to Canvas. Now it's on the canvas, we'll need to size it. The best way to size this, you can use this drag bar here or you can click up here at the top and you can make an adjustment here. I need it 16 inches wide, so it's just easier to punch it in up here and it automatically adjusts at the bottom. Now we're gonna click make it. Go ahead and make sure I get it centered because I wanna have as much of this in the middle of the vinyl so the vinyl will be part of my masking. Hit OK. Now we're going to put continue in the bottom right. If you noticed I'm using a 24 inch mat in this project. 11.5 and up has to be done on a larger mat. It's a 16 inch project so it's going to be on the 24 inch mat. Now it's time to weed the project. I'm weeding out the part that I want etched. That way it's like a stencil. Whether you use the machine to cut out the image or you do it by hand, we need to separate the vinyl from the backing. So we're going to use a transfer tape. We need to get the vinyl onto the transfer tape and we're peeling away the backing. Now it's time to prep the glass. I recommend using a wax and grease remover, but you can also use rubbing alcohol. I'm going to use a razor knife to clean up my glass. It didn't fully clean up with the wax and grease remover. Once I got the bulk of it scraped off, now I'm going to go back over it again. I'm trying to get this as clean as possible. Now I'm going to use my square and I'm going to tape off a perfectly straight line, something for me to use as a reference to make sure my stencil is on there correctly. I'm keeping an eye on that tape line to make sure I got my logo straight. Once it's on there straight, I'm going to peel the transfer tape from the vinyl. For this project, I'm using Armor Etch Glass Etching Cream. On the instructions, it says to brush on a thick layer of Armor Etch. So I want to make sure I put this on plenty heavy. Also on the label, it says to leave on for about three minutes. But for this project, I'm gonna leave it on for 15. I wanna make sure I get a deep etch.
notice how thick I have the etch on. You want to try to make it as thick as possible, it does a much better job. Now it's time to rinse with water. If you'd be so kind and hit that like button, and if you have time, please subscribe and ring that bell. I'd really appreciate it. Once I'm finished, I brought it back into my shop. I'm using a hair dryer to heat the vinyl so it peels a little better. I give it one more wipe down to get all the residuals off and then we'll be finished with our project. Thanks for watching. 